Welcome everyone to Ironman 4x4 Superstore. We are at the Leaf Spring Wall. We are making this video and try to try and explain what the different load ratings on the spring mean. We are always being asked, if I use a comfort spring like an A-spring, that means I cannot load anymore. No, that's not true. All of the different springs have a one ton or more load rating. So they will all load more than your original springs. What's the difference? If you look at the springs, A spring has a thinner primary, B spring has a bit thicker primary, C spring, and the very thick D spring. Okay, a leaf spring is two stage. The primary is what we use every day when we're not loaded. If we load around 500 kilos or more, it hits the secondary, it becomes a one ton spring. On a Toyota Hilux, for example, if you notice, all the time your primary is sitting on your secondary. So all the time we drive every day with a one ton spring. That what, that, that's why we complain of a stiff ride in the back. Now, an A spring will allow you, if you look at the catalogs, okay, this is where the confusion starts. On the catalogs, it says zero to 100 kilos. What people understand is they can only load 100 kilos. That is very wrong. What that means is an A spring can take up to 100 kilos of constant load. That means accessories you cannot remove from your vehicle. So let's say 100 kilos is maybe a rear bumper. Um, rear bumper with a utility box, a bit of tools. That's all less than 100 kilos. So you can go A spring. A Canopy in the back is less than 100 kilos. You're still safe with an A-spring. On my personal vehicle, I run an A-spring with a canopy and a rear bumper. So still hitting a bit, almost 100 kilos. So that's what an A-spring can do. If you have more stuff in the back that you cannot take out, you go B-spring. And a bit more, you go C-spring. And usually for mining vehicles and rescue vehicles, we go either C or D because they have so much stuff in the back, maybe 300 liters of water and other things. But an A spring will load one ton or more. A B spring will also load one ton and more. A D spring will still load one ton or more because if you go over that, you'll break your axles or you'll break your pickup. We can never go over gross vehicle weight. Slightly over, yes. That's why we run aftermarket springs. So please avoid the confusion. Um, we've always, we always get questions because people open the catalog and they don't understand what it means. But all of these springs will give you a 2-inch lift when installed in a properly weighted vehicle. So an A spring will lift you 2 inches or more in a light vehicle. If you install a B spring in a very light vehicle, it will give you more, which is not proper. A C spring will give you more if you're too light. But if you're weighted in properly, it's still a two inch lift spring. So all of these springs will load one ton. So that's what the load rating on the spring means is load rating for constant load and accessories. This is an A spring equipped with Ironman's Load Plus and hidden right here is Adelie. Now what does Adelie do? If your primary springs are too soft or a bit tired, they sit on your secondaries, giving you an awful ride. Put in an other leaf, it'll camber your spring, give you a lot more distance between your secondary and your primary. It'll give you a free two inch lift and a lot more comfort. What does Load Plus do? Load Plus does not lift your vehicle. Load Plus is a helper spring. You install this and when adjusted properly, it will help your vehicle carry more load um, not more than the ratings of the factory but the biggest advantage of load plus is it will give you the proper handling very safe and stable handling at loaded conditions unloaded you can take the u-bolt out it won't help you you leave the u-bolt in it'll be stiff so load plus for load no lift add a lift for lift and comfort so hope that fixes the confusion. We'll talk about coil splings next. Thank you. Iron Man. Oh, oh.